distance between you and um, the other the person who's bothering you or the other people who are bothering you. That's huge, okay? It gives you more time to react. It gives you more options, okay? Especially to run away. Master Edwards is six degree master, trained in multiple martial arts. He's a, a, like a monster, right? He, his idea is he'd rather run away from a fight and know that he can get home safely to his family than put himself in a fight and either get in trouble for fighting or maybe getting injured or accidentally hurting someone else. So it makes sense that while we are learning all these things that can make people very uncomfortable, our priority is to get away, to get somewhere safe. So that being said, we're going to go through our basic kicks that um, will give us space, starting with our front leg side kick. So Caroline, I'm going to break this down for you. Okay, it's going to be a completely different kick. Um, and everyone else knows this, but it's still good to go through the basics anyways. We're going to turn so our heel is towards the camera, our heel is towards the target. You're going to pick up your front knee, and you're going to push the bottom of your foot straight out towards the camera, like you're pushing the camera away. There, just like that. That's our front leg side kick. So you have to push so hard through the camera that you're not seeing your instructor Sullivan over. Okay? <laughs> our front leg side, side kick. Lock it out and pull it back fast. Okay? Especially in a self-defense scenario, you don't want to hold our leg there. You want to push them and get away as, as fast as possible. So you have to pull your leg back fast. So by my count, front leg side kick. Ready? And come on. Good. Dual. Set. Net. Nice foot positioning, Miss Aper. Awesome. Good. And switch your feet. Same thing on the other side. Yes, knee up, out in, landing in front. Pull it back fast, yes? And come on. Dual. Set. Mr. Gardner, nice pullback. Make sure you lock it all the way out to make that space, right? Net. Nice, Miss Dirks. Good, and switch your feet. So let's have a little bit of fun now before we move into our next kick. We're already facing away from our target, right? Our heel is suit and not our toes. This gives us a, per a perfect opportunity to do some running. Yes? We have to have endurance and be able to get away in certain situations. So what you're going to do, and see if yourself is going to spotlight people who are looking really good. You're going to be here. You're going to do your front leg side kick. You have to find the nearest wall in your room or somewhere behind you. You're going to run. Touch and come back. Okay? That way we get used to landing and going straight somewhere. If you don't have a wall or you're going to go like this and you're going to touch something, I can see you. I can see where you guys are. Then you have to do, what do you think? See you, Shark Resolve. Two Ten buttons. butt kicks. What? Ten butt kicks. Ten butt kicks. That sounds good. Okay? So if you can go like this and touch a wall, you have to do ten butt kicks. <laughs> okay. Ready? You're going to kick, run, touch the wall, and come back. Or touch something if you don't have a wall anywhere near you. Okay. Ready? And all the safers are getting ready to race. I'm going to watch this. And come up. Be fast, be fast, don't get caught. And duel. And set. Nice, Caroline. Do it again, you're watching. And net. Let's see. Awesome kick. Oh man, she's fast too. One more on the side, ready? And dust it. Good, and switch your feet. Same thing on the other side now, ready? And come on. And duel. <laughs> And set. Nice kick, Miss Skinner. That was awesome. <laughs> and net. One more. Dawson. <laughs> awesome 
awesome job. So it's really important that not only do we have that kick, but we have a reaction that can follow that. Okay, so you're gonna check your Sullivan. Yes, ma'am. I'm gonna send you with Caroline to keep practicing that. Yes, ma'am. And then everyone else is gonna do back kick. Okay, Caroline, you're gonna have to click something on your screen. Join? Yep. Okay. And the rest of us, we're gonna do back kick. So here, right, you turn look over our shoulder, kick, pull, land in front, and step back. Okay? Back kick has uh, our cut kick's gonna be faster, our front leg side kick. Our back kick's gonna give us more power because it lets us wind up and then pop. Okay? So you're gonna have more ability to react faster with your front leg side kick, but your back kick's really what's gonna knock someone over or give you space. Okay? So please remember that when you're deciding which kick makes most sense, how much time you have, how much distance you have, and how much force you need to stop your attacker. Okay? So please keep that in mind. So from here, when I count, we're just gonna turn back kick, land right in front, and step back. Ready? And come on. Dual. Set. Net. Dawson. Go ahead and switch your feet. Same thing, other leg. Ready? And Hana. Dual. Set. Net. Dawson. Good. Switch your feet. Now, making it harder on you guys. Sometimes, and I know we've done drills like this in class, people don't get it right away. They don't have common sense. It takes a couple of times. So, you might have to knock them away more. So, maybe someone comes in fast. We have to respond quickly. So, we do our front leg side kick. But they're coming in, and we need to send them back. Yes? So we do our back kick. So from here, you're going to do front leg side kick, back kick, land, go and touch the wall, and run back. Okay? So front leg, back leg, run. Ready? By my count. And come on. Good. And... Dual. Let me spotlight some people. And pull on. Set. Good. Now switch your feet. Try the other side. Ready? And hana. And dual. And set. Good. And borrow. That's a fun one to do, too. Um, just like with our kicks, and I think I've said this in the past before, Take kicks that you know, take moves that you know, and start making your own combinations, make your own movements, try and put things together. Do the same with your self-defense, okay? Whether it's making space, whether it's your hot keto, whatever it is, all of it flows together. There was one class where I did with Master G, who's amazing at hot keto, and she made us do the color belt number seven, which is this weird circle move, and she made us do it same side, cross hand, two hand, only being able to use one hand, using two hand, overhead, knife. And she had us do the same concept with different attacks. Then um, we did one attack, different endings, because they all kind of rotate together and they all kind of flow. So it's finding what works with you. It's putting different things together. It's thinking outside the box. You're given this kick. 
what can you use it for? How many times can you use it in different ways? So uh, as you're going through, that's really what's going to give you a uh, martial arts IQ, which is the idea of, um, you know, how much you know and understand how much you can apply outside of basically the dojo in that sense. So definitely something to think about as you're going through. Um, that being said, we're going to keep going. Hello, see you, Georgia Sullivan. Where's Caroline? I don't know. <laughs> I'm going to say that. No, she took a minute to come too, though. Mm -hmm. Like she took a minute to leave this one and go to the breakout room, so it might just like take a minute. Okay, yep, there she is. Okay, so now what we're going to do before we do anything else in terms of uh, self defense, I I'm gonna have to leave in a few minutes, unfortunately, since I don't know if you guys are away. Uh, Grandmaster Verlo, Master Verlo, and C instructor Tracy are away today and tomorrow. Um, C instructor Tracy's testing for master in the middle of the mountains, so should be a very interesting story. But um, so I have to cover the sem a seminar in a few minutes. But uh, before we go, I did want to go over um, balance break. Kicks are very important, and I'm sure that senior instructor Sullivan will torture you more because she's very good at that. Um, but I have a particular way that I think balance break should be taught and practiced and done. So that if someone gets past your kicks, they get to you, you can best defend yourself. Um, so we're going to go through that really, really quickly. Before I... So from here, the idea of a balance break is how to make it so whoever's attacking you and grabbing you has the least amount of control, okay? Especially if they're bigger or they're stronger or anything like that, okay? So the way that I like to think about it, if someone grabs here, if you turn your hand over and they have to rotate, it makes it much harder to hold. If you guys all do it now, if you start with your hand down, you grab your own wrist, that's really how someone grabs you. People are gonna grab you like this. If you rotate your hand over, it's much harder to hold on to. And even if you can still hold on, your grip is gonna be a lot looser. So when we're here, we're gonna turn our hand up and bring our elbow in tight to our side. It's the first step, okay? You anchor something to your body, it has the power of your body, not just your arm. So we bring our hand in, okay? So hand, palm goes up, elbow goes in at the same time, okay? Then from here, the hand that's up, that leg is gonna step back at an angle into our back stance. So knees are bent, and we're here. This way, this part is the farthest away from whoever's bothering you. So if they grab your hand, you're making that the farthest part away, okay? Making it harder for them. If it's right in front of them, it's easier. The farther away it is, the harder it is. And also when we go back, we're using our core, we're making it so they're gonna lose their balance. They're either gonna fall and fall into it or they're going to let go, okay? But once that hand is in, we don't move it. So here, we step back at an angle, okay? Most of the time, people don't realize what we're doing, so they'll follow and they'll fall into our balance break. So as we're going through, as we go back, our front hand, basically palm stretcher, high fives them in the head to keep them from falling into us, okay? Remember everything that we're doing, we're not trying to injure anyone, but it's very okay to make them uncomfortable or very sore. So if you bop them in the head, as long as you're not breaking anything, good to go. So here, elbow one hand comes up, and as you step, other hand comes out, yes? So we have to make sure we're stepping back at an angle and not straight forward. If we go straight forward, they're gonna come straight into us. If we step back at an angle, that gives them some room to come in without landing right on top of us and for us to block them a little bit back, okay? So we're gonna do uh, five balance breaks on each side and then see you start yourself and you get to torture them as much as you want. Yes, ma'am. We're gonna do a balance break on each, uh, five on each side. Ready and begin. I'm going to watch so I can pick on everyone. Make sure you're at an angle, not going straight back. Good. Awesome. Keep it up. Nice, Caroline. And Miss Skinner, awesome back stance. Whoa. These are awesome. Nice job. Good, Mr. Gardner. Nice, Miss Thompson. Good job, Caroline. Awesome.
Well, Senior Instructor Sullivan, I'm going to leave it to you now. Yes, ma'am. All right, let's all face Master Bob. Cheerio. Sullivan kick in yet. Have a great rest of class, guys, and I will see you all real soon. Okay, so we are going to do two things for the rest of class. First, we're going to focus on making that front leg side kick from before stronger, and then we're going to end the game. So the most important thing when we're doing, like, self-defense kicking starts with a B. Does anyone know what it is? What is it, Caroline? Balance. Balance! First class, she got it. Nice job. Balance. So if I'm doing my front leg side kick, right, someone's coming in at me, and this leg is straight, and I'm kind of just going to fall. If it's straight, right, and it's out, I have nothing to hold me. I'm either going to fall backwards when they run into me, or I'm going to hit them back, and I'm going to fall into them, right? So I want my leg to be bent. The supporting leg needs to have almost all of my weight on it, right? If, again, if it's straight and it's like 50-50, nothing good is going to come of that. So almost all of my weight has to be on here. I should be able to lift this and stand, right? Because all of my weight is on this foot, right? So let's go. So we're just gonna practice that like three times. So when I say hana, you're just gonna go up, hands up, and balance. Ready? And hana. Good. And dual. Balance. Good. And one more. Set. Good. And now other side. When you bring your foot up, make sure you have that right foot positioning. So when we're hitting, we are here. Right? Other side now. And hana. Good. And and dual. Good. And set. Good. So now we've got that. We know our weight has to be on our back leg so that we can kick and pull it back. Or if someone comes in at us, we're not gonna fall back immediately, right? So we're here, one, out, back, and we're good. Um, the next most important thing is that our foot is pivoted. Because even if my foot is bent, even if my leg is bent, but my foot is only like 90 degrees, my stomach is facing, and I'm gonna be off balance. So both of my feet need to be pointed towards the back, one for foot positioning, the other for balance. So I'm here, almost in like a reverse front stance, right? So I'm like in a front stance this way. This knee is bent. My foot is facing the total back. Up, up. That's how I'm going to have my strongest kick. So we're going to do three each leg, making sure we're in almost reverse front stance. Both feet facing away. Weight on our back leg. Up and out strong. Ready? And ha! Strong as you can. Make sure you're not kicking and falling into it. Right, because then we're not gonna have any balance for our next whatever we're doing. And again, dual. Good, and set. Nice, retreat. Other side, same thing, get in that good stance, and ha! Good, dual. One more, set. All right, and borrow. Are there any questions on that? No? Does anyone feel more balanced than they did the first time? Okay, good. So, um, does everyone here know the game Simon Says? Yes or no? Yes, all right, we're gonna play Instructor Says. So, if I say Instructor Says do something and you do it, perfect. If I say Instructor Says do something and you don't do it, that's, you know, bad. If I don't say Instructor Says, you don't do it. So, everyone's gonna have like two lives. If you, if I trick you twice, uh, you're just gonna practice self-defense. So, this is really easy to do with the dragons because you trick them every time. But I think with you guys, it might be a little more of a challenge. All right, ready? Instructor says, sure, yeah! Instructor says, now it's for real. All right, instructor says, cheer, yeah. Instructor says, give me it. 10 jumping jacks, go. Did I get anyone? Oh, all right. Instructor says, 10 jumping jacks, go. Come on. Two, set, net, da, set, yo, freeze. Oh, nice job. All right, if 
you froze, after 10, you can stop. If you froze, you lost the life. Uh, that's okay. All right, instructor says, I'm gonna throw in some Korean. Edon means jump. So if I say Edon one time, jump one time. Instructor says, Edon! Instructor says, Edon! Edon, Edon, Edon! Instructor says, Edon, Edon, Edon! Nice job. Instructor says, Tito Dura! Turn around. Instructor says, Tito Dura! Instructor says, ready? Edon, Tito Dura! Edon, Tito Dura! Oh, Caroline, I got you! Instructor says, Tito Dura, face me. Instructor says, sure, yeah. And she's just going, yeah. Jimmy. No? All right. Instructor says, Jimmy. All right. Instructor says, balance break. Ready? Instructor says, hit on. And back. What? I didn't All right. If I got you on that one, I think that was pretty good. Instructor says, balance break. And she's just go back. Instructor says, balance break. Instructor says, go back. All right, other side. Instructor says, balance break. Did anyone do the other side? Instructor says, go back. All right, and instructor says, sure, yeah. Instructor says, good, yeah. And, oh, we got one more minute. I thought we were done. All right, instructor says, horse dance with Shanae. Instructor says 10 middle punches and T show. Freeze! Did anyone freeze? Even for a second, Mr. Gardner, did you freeze for like half a second there? All right, and borrow. Oh, close. Instructor says borrow. Instructor says true. Yep. Instructor says eat on Tito Dura. Instructor says eat on Tito Dura. And instructor says understand. Stand back up. Stand back up. Now, stand back up. Oh, you guys are good. Instructor says, stand back up. And instructor says, sure, yeah. Instructor says, class dismissed, game is over. Awesome job. Come swim it up. All right, good job, guys. Um, if I tricked you, ha. If I didn't, great job and have a good night. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you, ma'am. Director says good night. Thank you. Thank you.